Hey, what is going on, guys? It is me, Quinkin, and welcome to episode number five of my Let the Go Madrid career mode. And I want to thank you guys, every single one of you who leaves a like and a comment on my videos. But there are many of you who watch my videos but don't leave a comment down below. It is very vital for my channel to have comments and likes because I want to see what you guys think about my videos. And if you did enjoy my video, please leave a like and leave your comment down below on what I can do to make my series better. So please leave your comment down below. I want to see what you guys think and I do reply to all my comments so please leave your comment down below. Now in the previous episode I asked you guys if I should leave Mario Mandzukic as my starting 11 striker and most of you said to take him off and I want to thank every single one of you who said that because he hasn't been playing that well and uh, you know it was time for him to have a break and let someone else have a chance so I did put Serchi as our striker and I moved Antoine Griezmann from the substitutes onto the pitch and put him on the right wing position and we left Mario Mandzukic on the substitutes. We left him on the bench and we're gonna bench him for around two games and some of you guys even said to sell him so that was a little extreme but we're gonna get into this game versus Celta Vigo who were in second place and we're currently in third place and we do start off on the right foot with Verratti scoring a spectacular goal. Serchi pairing up with Gabi. Gabi with a beautiful chip pass to Verratti and Verratti with the header. He just makes it 1-0 and things were looking good for us. Serchi one more time into Ram with a pass. Serchi with a great shot but the goalkeeper does get a save on it and Celta Vigo were a great side. We did get some good opportunities but Moya with a great save here. Celta Vigo really wants to score. Antoine Griezmann with some great dribbling on the wings. He gets into the box, he centers it in and the smallest person on my team gets a header on it and almost scores. It was Arda Turam, but we do get into the second half. Verratti gives the ball away to the opposition and they almost score. So I decided to take him out and put in Mario Suarez. Verratti was having a great game, but he almost cost us a goal. But before that substitution could go through, Celta de Vigo out of nowhere score a goal to make it 1-0. And Koke gets a great chance to score. No, it hits off the post and that was the best chance we had. We did have other opportunities of Koke, but... He just kept shooting at the goalkeeper, he shot it wide and Raul Garcia had the last opportunity to score but he just shot it wide and we do draw the game one all versus Celta de Vigo who are a very good side and I know why they are in the second position place but I want to see how they left us in the league table and we dropped all the way to fifth Celta de Vigo dropped a third so that draw didn't benefit either of us but it's better than losing three points so Verratti was the hero for Atletico Madrid scoring a beautiful goal and Gabi gets an assist for that too so we're playing very well and our next game was gonna be versus Almeria and we were gonna have a midweek game so I decided to make some changes to my squad some of them being uh, Congolo as a center back and we put Yano Block to have his first game of the season and to be honest Yano Block didn't have a lot to worry about Almeria were a very timid side and our defense was absolutely monstrous so we were so good and barely in the 17th minute Gabi opens it wide to Serchi Serchi smacks him back to the net and we we're up 1-0 and Serchi just he can't stop playing well man he's, he's the he is doing so well for Atletico Madrid right now and Koke with insanely precise dribbling gets a shot in but it just goes wide. A very good opportunity to go 2-0 up before uh, halftime and like I said our defense was not worried. Yano Black didn't have a lot to worry about but there were some very timid shots in from Almeria and it was time to take out Koke and put in Garcia as a can because Koke played in the weekend and he's a fundamental part of our squad so I put in Garcia in his place to see if he can do anything to help our attack but in the 90th minute Almeria get a great chance to score and it hits off the post so we got very lucky on that chance and they could have tied it there and we could have split points in the last minute but thank god the post saved us and Yano Block does keep a clean sheet for his first game of the league season and we were gonna go straight into the third game but I did have to make some substitutions Serchi was playing so well on the right wing and you know that's really where he plays very well so I moved him back to the right wing position we put Gris as a striker and it was time to take out Gabi he was playing too many games and put in Mario Suarez as the main center mid versus Sevilla I wanted to see how this was gonna turn out because Mario Suarez hasn't played in a big game he has only played in the smaller games versus smaller clubs 
So I wanted to see how he would play versus the bigger clubs in La Liga. Now, Raul Jimenez didn't really impress me in the previous game. So I did take him out and put Anthony Marshall in these substitutes. And I did take out Gabi and put in Saul. I wanted Anthony Marshall to get a chance to play versus Sevilla. Uh, if we were up in the marker uh, by the time he would go in, I would put him in. So it was going to be a very good game versus Sevilla. And although Sevilla are in sixth place, they are still a very good side. We got up back to third place and things are still looking good for us in La Liga. And Carlos Baca is an insanely great striker for Sevilla and he almost scores here. He hits off the post and we got very lucky here. Very good pass to Arda Turan. He's through on goal. There's a shot but they do take him down in the box and the referee calls for the penalty. Serchi was going to go up to take it. He is having a great season. Serchi goes up. There's a shot. And yes, it goes in the back of the net. We are up 1-0. And Serchi just can't stop scoring goals. He is playing so well for Atletico Madrid at the moment. And he just can't stop scoring goals. Here's a great opportunity for Anton Griezmann. He makes the run. Beautiful dribbling here. The left foot. And a great save from the goalkeeper to give us a corner kick. And off that corner kick guess who scores yes Alessio Serchi scores to make it 2-0 and Jesus Christ Serchi he is such an insanely great player but Sevilla had a great chance here and Moya saves the shot that was a great acrobatic shot from Sevilla and they did have a lot of opportunities before the first half was over but we did make it to the second half winning 2-0 and Sevilla really did want to score but their opportunities they were just too weak and we do concede a goal in the dumbest form yeah you guys can laugh if you want Moya went out to take out the ball and he just kick it to Evid Benega and Benega scores to make it 2-1 so I did decide to change it to a 4-4-2 and put Anthony Marshall in for Turan and I move Anton Griezmann to the left mid position and let's see how Anton Griezmann does a great skill of dribbling he leaves off to Anthony Marshall and Anthony Marshall with a great shot here just went wide and Anthony Marshall does make it 3-1 this kid is so freaking good he comes in as a sub in an important game and he makes it 3-1 Anthony Marshall's first appearance with Atletico Madrid and his first goal Anthony Marshall makes it 3-1 and we do win we get the three points versus a very good Sevilla side who although we did win 3-1 they were very stable in the back and they were very hard to break through and this is how we're looking in the league table at the moment at the moment we're in first place so Jesus Christ we deserve this first place spot we're playing so well and we deserve this first place spot but that is pretty much it this is the end of the video and we are doing so well in this career mode we are in first place in la liga alessio Serchi is playing so well for us at the moment he has nine games played and four goals so he is pulling off some pretty good stats there but this is the end of the video if you guys did enjoy it please please leave your like and a comment down below favorite the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new i take out quality few 15 career modes so hopefully you guys do have a great day. I'm Quinkin and I'll see you guys next time. I know you're